Do not file your contract with the county. <laughs> One of the biggest mistakes I've seen people make when trying to protect their contract with the seller by clouding the title is to file the A&M with the county and include a copy of their contract. Don't do that. That's today's topic. And I'm going to give you my exact letter at the end of this video. Hey, I'm Chris Thomas, and this is Land Flipping 101, where you can learn how to earn your financial freedom through land investing, even if you're a complete beginner with no experience, because I am sharing with you how I am successfully doing it. I'm going after larger payoffs and fewer deals, targeting retail values of at least $40,000 with the goal of doubling my investment, and then whenever possible, using simultaneous or double closing strategies to reduce risk. The key to my success has been consistent daily action. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So what I do is I just put the property under contract to purchase with a six month closing and my contract allows me to market it on the MLS. Then when I find a buyer, I line up the closing of both on the same day and then simultaneously close with transactional funding for just a few hours, hopefully, most of the time. <laughs> now, this is not wholesaling technically because I will close with the seller and then again with the buyer. And I close twice because I can earn 100% return on investment or more on every deal. I mean, I've, I've openly shared my very first deal earned 412%. A deal I'm closing today, it was like, I think, 242% return. But on that first one, I actually made $106,000 on my very first deal. So there's enough room in the deal to justify the extra closing costs. And I enjoy privacy regarding the financials of my deal. Only the title company or, or the closing attorney knows my numbers because they're the ones preparing the transaction and they're helping me keep everything legal. I love land flipping so much because I can do the whole thing online without ever visiting the property or fixing anything. It kind of fits my lazy lifestyle. <laughs> but I did find financial freedom and then some. And you can do it too. You can start as small or as large as you would like. You can invest your own funds or you can use one of dozens of investment options like a double close or transactional funding without risking any of your own money. So, hi, I see some people have joined me. Welcome. Hi, Walter Perez, Pat Wallace, and Brian Kevin LaGrange. Welcome. Today's topic is all about protecting your purchase agreement with the seller by clouding the title. Okay, but first I did see a couple of recurring questions in the Facebook group, so I wanted to address them. These are pretty universal questions. Number one, why am I not getting a response from my mail? <laughs> that is a huge question I get on a regular basis. And I think that comes down to probably two key things. One is you're not sending enough mail. And I recommend, I mean, at a bare minimum, 500 to 750 pieces every single week. Do it week after week after week. And then send more if you can. Send until it hurts because this is where the magic happens. This is where the money's made. Okay, so a second reason why it could be that the county is too hot. <gasps> what? How do I know if the county's too hot? Well, I would say if there are hundreds of sales transactions taking place, it's probably too hot. Okay? I live in Nashville, Tennessee. Someone just forwarded me a January article that basically said Tennessee was like the hottest market for migration in 2020. <laughs> I could say that's probably true. I wouldn't recommend mailing Tennessee. <laughs> it's pretty saturated. Uh, everybody's coming to Tennessee, uh, especially investors. But anyway, okay, another question I've seen recurring a lot is, why isn't my property selling? <laughs> I mean, have you asked yourself that question? It's been sitting there. Why isn't it selling? Would say probably the number one reason is you're not advertising it enough. I can't tell you how many people I'll say, I'll ask this question and they'll say, no, I'm not, I'm not marketing it on the MLS. What? 
that is the number one place you should have your marketing is the MLS because that is where everyone automatically goes first to look for property, right? If, they're, if you're looking for a house, you search the local MLS. It's the same is true for land. Um, another thing I would say is that your advertising, like on the MLS, probably doesn't have good quality photos. I mean, think about an Amazon store, right? When you go shopping on Amazon, Amazon wants that shelf space like you would see in a store. They want that to look the best it can. They, 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 they focus on quality photos so that you can see exactly what you're buying. You have to have all the dimensions, all the information on there about the product so people know what they're getting. Kind of the same here. Seriously, have you seen listings where all they show is the outline of the property on a map? Oh, boring. Don't do that. Make your photos tell the story of the property. Show every angle. Show the topography. Look, do any attributes like water. Um, show the street view. But immerse the buyer in the property before they ever even go to visit it. And then last but not least, hi, Kenny, grab it. Hey, Muhammad I, and Jason. Thank you all. Hi, Sam. Gosh, a lot of y'all have joined. Thanks. Hi, Scott. Thank you all for saying something, saying hello. I'll read your comments here in just a second. But I wanted to mention another answer to this. Why is my property not selling? If it's not the advertising and it's not the listing itself, the quality of the listing with great photos, and it's probably priced too high. I hate to say it, but price is sometimes the problem. <laughs> Comping pro uh, property is an imperfect process. It's important to be able to defend your pricing, but if it hasn't sold in about 30 days, drop the price drastically while still keeping in mind your goal to double your, or at least this is my goal, to double the investment and make a minimum of $20,000 on each deal or 10,000 or whatever your goal is. 